for this video, basically it's to block EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies, from all this cellular and Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff. So what I did is I picked up this trifield meter, it's the trifield TF2. That's what it looks like. Picked up this aluminum screen. Got this from Lowe's. I got a huge one. It's 48 inches by 100 feet, so it's a lot. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I bought these panels. Um, they're like pillowcases. What I did is I sandwiched the screen in between the pillowcase, so to speak, to act as like a shield. So if you want to see what happens, uh, watch the video and you'll see what happens at the end. All right, let's go to the bedroom. Ah, oh, that's better. Look at that, 0 0.02. That's much, much better. So I'm going to shut the Wi-Fi off, see if that makes any difference. Okay, shutting the Wi-Fi off. Save. Okay. So Wi-Fi is off. Let's go back to the window. One, and that's with the Wi-Fi off. So it's definitely a signal from outside. Lots of signals, I guess. So this test is hand-holding it. And I'm acting as an antenna or some kind of amplifier. Let's check out the signal strength. There it is, one maxed out, nuts handheld. Okay, back to the bedroom. And this is the bedroom, handheld. Because I got the blinds closed, we're gonna check the uh, levels with the, uh, with the blinds closed, see if it blocks any. And it doesn't look like it's going to. Look at that, one, maxed out. And that's about two feet from the window. It's about three feet. That's about four feet, roughly. Moving closer. Wow, so if you sit on this love seat, watching TV, it's probably not a good idea to do. So I just made an interesting observation. It's 3.37 a.m. So I found that the signal strength of the RF meter went down quite a bit. Like it's not nearly as high as it is in the daytime. So it's right up against the window and you can see it's like half of what it is during the daytime. And just to show you, that's the window. I'm using like a tripod thing to hold on to it. So what I'm going to do is, I got these panels from Bed Bath & Beyond. These ones are 95 by 52 inches. It has like a, a lining so I can insert the metal screen where the uh, pocket is, so to speak. So let's get started and put the aluminum screen in. easiest way to do this is just to make it a, uh, you can see it's, it's lined, there's an outer, then there's an inner, it's like a big pillowcase, so I'm going to turn it inside out, and 
it'll make it a lot easier to get the screen inside. Here's the aluminum screen. So what I do with the screen is when you cut it, there's like really sharp fragments or like little uh, loose wires that poke out. So I got this Gorilla tape. It's pretty amazing stuff. Super sticky, it's thick, it does the job, it holds in place, it works really well. I tried normal duct tape and after a few hours, it just wouldn't stick together. So this Gorilla tape is awesome. So let's roll it out. I got these awesome little uh, clip things from uh, Fit Back and Beyond as well. So now the other end, I'm going to cut it and I'll have to have this tape handy too. These scissors are pretty awesome too. Uh, what are they? Titanium. It's best probably if you wear gloves when doing this. Because these little uh, aluminum wires will poke you. Done. Here's a, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's like a loose wire right here. Just cut it off. It is aluminum, it is metal, so I will poke you. So from here, I'm gonna take this tape, just wrap it up. So now, all we gotta do is just turn it back inside out again. Nice and easy. So now the clips have done their job, you can release them. One, two, three, four, perfect. There you go, panel's done. The panels are installed with the aluminum screen inside. And let's do the test. Yeah, it's a lot better than it was. It's not flying off the chart. And let's just press this together. Wow, look at that. It is a lot lower. It's right against the window. So, just a comparison. Let's go to the bedroom. Like we did in the last video. Ah, oh, nice and peaceful. And this is why I sleep so well. And back out to the living room. Oh, there we go. We got a one. Cause we got some kind of breakage somewhere in the screen. See the screen ends right there. It ends over here, so it's a little bit of a gap or opening. This was completely experimental for me to see if it worked. It did work. I'm happy with it. Um, the only disadvantage with this setup is that these blinds or these uh, panels are very stiff. This aluminum is not very forgiving, so let's try opening them. It's, it's very, very stiff. So that's a trade-off you're going to pay. Let's try to open them up. They're a bit long at the bottom, and that's why they're kind of catching. So let's just open them a little bit more. I'll try to open this one too. There. There's a comparison with nothing. See how high it is? And then if I touch it, it should go even higher, and it's off the scale by touching it. 
For this experiment, I just left the RF meter right at the window in front of the newly installed panels. And there's the reading. That's really, really good. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. All the best and take care.